my friends welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be setting up our healthy hero spreads for the last week of september and i've got my sticker sheets here as well as some sticker books that i pulled from so this week i decided to try to use up some of these free spirit stickers that i have the darker free spirit book i liked um, in some aspects and not so much in others but um, I got it on sale it was only I think six or eight dollars I got it at Michael's on clearance so I was like okay uh, there was enough stickers in there that I thought I would use so I decided to buy it and yeah so I just thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of make a spread using those stickers so I started there and I pulled a couple of those watercolor swash stickers which uh, you can't really see right now they're hidden behind the sticker sheet but yeah, so uh, swashes kind of got me going, and then I started to build some color schemes around that. So the tricky part about this book is that the colors are really deep toned, and there's not a lot of health-focused stickers that kind of go with that theme. Mostly they're brights, or you might find some in the pastels, like in the wellness, but the darker deep tones, those are much harder to find. So what I did for the stat stickers, I basically just used the black stickers and then trimmed off the colorful line that was next to it. That really helped keep it all in the color scheme. And then um, I also pulled some basic tones from the book and kind of matched them up using, I, I thought like the headers and stuff that I used could go for health prompting. So, for example, like trust yourself, keep going, just breathe, exhale fear. I thought those were all appropriate for a health spread. Now I'm kind of just doing a full day color scheme. So trying to kind of keep the colors consistent top to bottom, um, except for in that focus section where I kind of mix things up a little bit. But... Um, as far as how the day will be laid out, I like to do the colors in the same the same color scheme throughout the day that kind of helps distinguish each day as its own and not feel too cluttered. It kind of gives a little bit of repetition and that helps when you have such a, a broad color palette. So that was my idea there. I also liked that one box sticker. She has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. I thought that was a nice quote. And I'm using the little stars as a way to denote my workouts. And I put two on the days where I thought I might be doing a double workout just to have those ready and prepared. So on the sidebar, I'm gonna use just another box quote that I thought still kind of fit with the theme, but um, it was hard to find things that were very health goal oriented, so I just kind of kept it generic there. I'm doing a little bit of layering with the stickers. Now this focus section with the watercolor swatch, as I mentioned before, it kind of started the idea. And I'm going to use these three and trim that one in half so it kind of flows into the second or into the first page. And I'm just going to lay down this last one, this green one. And just do a little bit of trimming there. Kind of round in the corners. Okay, so that's kind of the basic layout there. And this was the only item I really was, I don't know, I went back and forth with these color schemes. It was very hard to find habit trackers in this deeper tone. 
I thought that the teal one worked enough, was close enough to the teal in the watercolor swash, but the other tones that I had to choose from just weren't right. So I was like, eh, I don't know if that was worse, the purple or the green. So for now I've got the purple there, but I don't know, we'll see. Because the only thing I really didn't like is that I couldn't find the habit trackers and the tones I needed to make this work. And I cut up this quote there so that I could use it across the page spread, yeah, Wonder Seeker. And I pulled these super cute little X strips um, that were in that Free Spirit sticker book to kind of add a little bit of extra texture and, and design to it. And I thought they were really cute and came out nice. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those down where I think those might work. And I grabbed a couple of other black um, quotes that I thought I could put in this main section that are health oriented without it being um, you know the bright tone so I basically just pulled black so that it would be safe in my color scheme and just putting in the other side putting in those little X strips and my last quote here appropriate for the end of the week. I did my best and here I am second guessing my habit tracker color scheme. <laughs> I really do go back and forth. I just it's still too bright for the spread but I wanted to keep that consistency of having my two habit trackers in the same type of habit tracker um, throughout the month. So it's last week in the month and um, I've been using those throughout uh, September. So that's so what I do for making my own rules for myself and then <laughs> having to work around them. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I mean, I, I could do anything I wanted. I don't, I don't have to have the same thing there, but I don't know. Maybe it's that A type personality in me that's like, no, it has to be like you said, you know, keep it consistent. <laughs> anyway, so that's why um, we're just going to try to make those guys work. And I wanted to fill in a little bit more around in that uh, focus section, just, I don't know, a little bit more health oriented imagery, if you will, since they are kind of light on the health imagery here. And so I thought that would be a nice touch just to add some visual cues. And now I'm going to highlight the bottom section here in my gray highlighter that I got from Daiso. If you guys are looking for these highlighters, they are from Daiso, the dollar store from Japan. And they have a few actual brick and mortar stores here in California. I've tried to find them online. The only ones I can really find are the fluorescents, which I link in my favorite things. But um, yeah, it's pretty hard to find the, the five pack with the deeper colors. So sorry about that. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!